Welcome to the final match of Group B. This is BSL Season 14 Hostel League Round of 16. Jedi 1 will be starting in the bottom left-hand corner as the Black Protoss. Upper right-hand corner, we have Fisheye starting as the Yellow Protoss. This is going to be on Eclipse, which means it's going to be heads-up PvP. Fisheye going for a DT build order last match. Showing the cheese. And I guess I should also give a nod to the fact that you have Red going up against Ash. Kind of a bit of an interclan thing going as well. Both teams, if you have not checked them out, check out the Brood War Clan League. Really, if so, if you go to Revolution Veer and Quix channel, you... How do you spell Quix? It's always just in my uh, Twitch list. I think it's Q-I-K-Y-Z, something along those lines. Basically, you get some inter-clan matches that are a lot of fun to watch. So be sure to check those out if you're looking for something along the lines of the Korean Professional Team League. You still have that. Unfortunately, I believe they just finished up. I was following them for a bit, but I uh, got a little bit too busy and so wasn't able to tap on everything. Anyway, gateway opener for both players. Doesn't look like we're seeing a two-gate either side. Probes meandering out. I'm actually shocked we're not seeing a two-gate either side off the nine gate because this tends to be a popular map for doing that once the probes cross each other's paths and this is what i love seeing is again it kind of all on that boundary mark both players know dead even build order neither player holding back troop looks like there's a second pylon an anti minor pylon being dropped by jedi one and opting not to go for his assimilator here so i'll be curious to see what this build order develops into is he going to go for the second gate so Fisheye, this might also be Mind Games. I don't think it's Mind Games, though, because he already dropped that second pylon. So Fisheye meanders in, sees no gas. First salt's being produced by him. Cybernetic score warping in. Looks like we are seeing, a, that looks like a manor pylon. In the opposite corner, a second attempt at a manor pylon. And another manor pylon drop. But this one's not really impeding the placement of this. Disrupts a little bit of pro pathing, but really doesn't negate anything. The first cell is going to be produced. Let's see if Jedi One gets aggressive with his first cell. He, in fact, opts to get aggressive with that first cell, just relying on the fact that potentially Fisheye is going to draw that zealot back to deal with those pylons inside of his base. Dragoon should be being produced. So Jedi One actually dropping and a gateway. He's going for it. So dropping, he wants to play heads up, a shield battery, and a gateway inside Fisheye's base. So now Fisheye building a second Zealot. He's going to need to get his second gateway down. One pylon down. Second pylon's going to need to be wiped out. I don't know that this is going to play out for Jedi 1. The Zealot moving up. Let's see if he can buy itself some time. The probe's now working on the gateway here. So he's like, I'm going to cheese you. That's the play here. Lucky Noob calling it, actually, in Twitch chat. Way before it even started. So now the Zealot's, the shield battery's not what you want to work on. Yeah, try to work on that gateway that's inside base. Third Zealot on the way. Second gateway still not up. Probes have been getting killed left and right. But keep in mind, if this gateway gets wiped out and the shield battery is all that's left, that's going to be really challenging for, for Jedi 1 to come back from. Second Zealot gone. So now you've got two Zealots versus two versus three Zealots inside the base. A shield battery is here and two pylons. Both gateways are up, and I think Fisheye has defended. The Zealots are now backing off. And now, Jedi 1, yeah, he was able to take down a few probes, but at what cost? I guess we can see the cost. It's going to be two pylons, a gateway, but Jedi 1's all in. So he's going to go ahead and regroup, try to get alongside that shield battery, and once again, dive into the probe line. However, several zealots there to greet him. More pylons. Are we going to see a shield battery now being dropped from Fisheye as well, defensively? And Jedi 1, even though he's done a decent amount of economic damage, I don't know that it negates everything that's happened. Let's take a look at his base. He's got two gateways here now and a cybernetic score warping, and he's trying to reset the match. And he actually might be able to, despite all this, he might be able to reset it and still end up ahead in probes. Once again, amongst the probes, the probes are trying to drill. Those two zealots are gone. 
And now that pylon's going to get cleaned up. The shield battery's there to provide some scouting, but not much else. Two Dragoons now being produced. And a Zealot chasing a Zealot across the map. And now, at the reset, what do we have? We got two gateways, but no Dragoons. A Citadel of a Dune being dropped for Jedi 1. He's up a bunch of probes because of all that disruption, but he's down Dragoons, dr down troops. He's got to hold his ramp, but if he can hold here, he'll end up way ahead at the end of the day. This Zealot taking a bit of base damage. And on top of that, what Fisheye needs to do, I'm not sure if he's going to be aware of it, he needs to start working on that robotics facility to deal with the Citadel of Adun and potentially the Templar Archives and Dark Templar that are going to be following this up. Range being upgraded. A single Zealot able to sneak in. Where did that come from? Hard to tell on the dark map. So that's going to disrupt Fisheye's ability to micro both directions. The Zealot's Pressing in. Trying to do what they can. Probes flooding off the line to try to engage. Jedi 1 knows if he can defend this, that will be match. He's able to at least keep these... He's still got a Zealot working in this base. In the meantime, Fisheye down to 14 probes and he is not breached yet. Two Dragoons finally got to take care of this Zealot. This Zealot has seven kills. Are you in incredible? So Jedi 1 now has a death throttle on this match. He's got Dark Templar coming. A robotics facility is being built, but this is way too late. And the result of this is, is that Fisheye doesn't have enough troops to breach Jedi 1. Yes, the cheese failed, but the cheese did enough damage that Jedi 1 is now incredibly ahead. Range also being upgraded. Everything's in Jedi 1's favor. Yeah, he's not going to have... Fisheye's going to have to blockade his ramp with what few troops he has. What that also means is that Jedi 1 can sit pretty on his 28 probes and go ahead and grab his natural expansion. So Fisheye in a desperate situation now. Next question is, is he going to see the Shimmer? Dark Templar halfway across the map. This is his tournament life. And Jedi 1, not even missing a trick, he's going to move up the rest of his troops as well. Dragoon checking for things along that southern border. The observatory halfway finished. But it still needs to build, and the Dark Templar are marching their way up. And not quite, they are able to block the ramp. We've got two Dragoons in the way. Working on troops, the observer not yet being produced. And they're happy to just attack Dragoons. Probes pulling off the line to go ahead and blockade this. These are probes, though, that Fisheye can't afford to lose. And now the Dark Templar breaching the main, going to be able to get additional kills. The Observer trying to get built, but wow, this is incredible amounts of damage. And Fisheye actually able to clean up the nat all the troops of the natural expansion. Probes coming off to try to defend. Fisheye trying to fight to the last. Knowing that it's his tournament life, but he's down to 4-3. GG, well played. Well played indeed. Jedi 1 advances to the round of 8 in a spectacular final. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Fun one to cast. Thanks for listening.